गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी ऑलरेडी कवर दैट इज ए चैप्टर केमिस्ट्री इन एवरीडे लाइफ अंडर द चैप्टर वी डिस्कस्ड ऑलरेडी ओवर मेडिसिन व्हाट इज मेडिसिन टाइप्स ऑफ मेडिसिन नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज प्रिजर्वेटिव फूड एडिटिव व्हाट इज सोप डिटर्जेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिटर्जेंट artificial sweetener etc etc now today switch over to another one chapter or last chapter of the organic chemistry that is biomolecules the last chapter of organic chemistry that is biomolecules so what is biomolecules before that we have to go through the introduction the living cell the fundamental unit of life are composed of some complex biological important organic molecules otherwise known as biomolecules i repeat again the living cell the fundamental unit of life are composed of some complex biological important organic molecules otherwise known as the biomolecules the important biomolecules constituting the ultimate structure of living cells are carbohydrate carbohydrate fats protein lipids amino acid etc that is the important biomolecules constituting the ultimate structure of living cell are carbohydrate fats protein lipid etc so i discuss one by one first to focus to carbohydrates first we discuss about carbohydrates carbohydrates is the main source of energy of human being in the form of food it gives three essential component that is food shelter and cloth originally carbohydrates are named to those compound which are represented by the formula cx h2o y in this formula where x and y may be same or different and it is otherwise known as the hydrates of carbon but this formula is not valid forever because some deviation are there mark that in case of if we discuss about formaldehyde if we discuss about acetic acid then it is also represented in the form of cx h2o y but it has no characteristic property of carbohydrates that's why nowadays the modern definition of carbohydrate is these are the optically active polyhydroxy aldehyde or ketone i repeat again these are optically active these are optically active polyhydroxy aldehydes or polyhydroxy ketones or the compounds or the compounds which forms which forms this one this on acidic hydrolysis acidic hydrolysis i repeat again the definition the modern definition these are the optically active polyhydroxy aldehyde or ketone or the compound which of acidic hydrolysis gives polyhydroxy aldehyde or polyhydroxy ketone it is the modern definition 
next we switch over to the classification of carbohydrate next we switch over to the classification of carbohydrate classification of carbohydrate mainly basically on the basis of hydrolysis product on the basis of hydrolysis product carbohydrate are classified into monosaccharide oligosaccharide and polysaccharide point one monosaccharide point two oligosaccharide point three polysaccharide focus to one by one first we discuss about what is monosaccharide these are the simple sugar and cannot be hydrolyzed first we discuss about monosaccharide these are the simple sugar cannot be hydrolyzed to still simpler form still simpler form they are the simple sugar cannot be hydrolyzed to still simpler form if we discuss about examples glucose fructose for example glucose fructose ribose etc these are the monosaccharide that means on hydrolysis not formed to still simpler form they are generally sweet to taste soluble in water and crystalline nature they are generally sweet to taste crystalline in structure soluble in water common example glucose fructose <coughs> then monosaccharide again which contain an aldehyde group again monosaccharide is of two types which again contain an aldehyde group known as aldose which contain a ketonic group known as ketose ribose and glucose comes under aldose while fructose comes under ketose it is all about monosaccharide next switch over to oligosaccharide next is point to oligosaccharide point to oligo saccharide it is the carbohydrate which on hydrolysis gives two to 10 molecules of same or different monosaccharide i repeat again it is the carbohydrate it is the carbohydrate which on hydrolysis gives 2 to 10 same or different molecules of monosaccharides it gives 2 to 10 molecules of same or different monosaccharide depending upon the number of molecules again form depending upon the number of monosaccharide molecule form again it is classified into disaccharide trisaccharide and tetrasaccharide then we discuss about depending upon how many number of monosaccharide molecule form on hydrolysis it is again classified into disaccharide
Raíssa Caraíba. Petra Sacaraíba. Etc. O descanso, one by one. First is Dai Sacaraíba. That means, in your acidic or hydrolysis, it gives to similar or different monosaccharide, then it is known as a disaccharide. On hydrolysis, if it gives three similar or different monosaccharide, then it is known as a trisaccharide. On hydrolysis, acidic hydrolysis, if it gives four similar or different monosaccharide, then it is known as tetrasaccharide. So if we discuss about some example of disaccharide, sucrose, maltose, lactose, some examples, sucrose, maltose, lactose, etc. If we go through the example of trisaccharide, that is raffinose, raffinose, if we discuss about the example of tetrasaccharide, next structure, it is the classification of depending upon the number of monosaccharide molecules formed. Then we discuss to polysaccharide. Then is polysaccharide. What is polysaccharide? The carbohydrates which on hydrolysis gives a large number of monosaccharide molecules are known as polysaccharide. These are made up of large number of monosaccharide unit joined together by glycosidic linkage. I repeat again, the carbohydrates which on hydrolysis gives large number of monosaccharide molecules are known as polysaccharide. These are made up of large number of monosaccharide units joined by glycosidic linkage. For example, starch, cellulose, glycogen. Example, starch, cellulose, glycogen. These are the common example of polysaccharide. On the basis of test, Again, on the basis of test, carbohydrate again divided into two types. One is sugar, one is sugar, and one is non-sugar. We we'll discuss one by one. First is sugar. All the monosaccharide and oligosaccharide, all the monosaccharide and oligosaccharide are crystalline solid, soluble in water, and sweet in taste are known as sugar. I repeat again, all the monosaccharide and oligosaccharide are crystalline solid, soluble in water and sweet in taste are known as sugar. Example, glucose, fructose, example under glucose, fructose, etc. Then, what is a non-sugar? That is polysaccharide or amorphous. Sugar is monosaccharide oligosaccharide non sugar is polysaccharide polysaccharide sugar is monosaccharide oligosaccharide is crystalline nature it is polysaccharide is amorphous in nature that means the non sugar non sugar is the polysaccharide which are amorphous in nature insoluble in water and tasteless are known as non sugar so do example is starch cellulose example is Starch, cellulose, etc. It is the classification of taste, depending upon taste, which one is sugar and non sugar. Again, on the basis of reducing nature, whether they are reduced to tolerance reagent or failing solution or not, on the basis of reducing character, again, it is of two types one is reducing sugar and one is non reducing sugar. Whether they are able to reduce tolerance region or filling solution, one is known as reducing sugar, one is non reducing sugar. We discuss one by one. First, we discuss reducing sugar.
that means the sugar all those carbohydrate thus reduces tolerance reagent helix solution are known as reducing sugar example sucrose fructose maltose example sucrose fructose maltose etc those sugar those carbohydrate which are not reduces the tolerance reagent and the filling solution are known as non reducing sugar they are incapable to reducing tolerance and filling solution for example sucrose example is sucrose these are some examples of reducing sugar and non reducing sugar again another two term is there that means the carbohydrate the carbohydrate again one is known as if aldehyde group is there known as aldose ketonic group is there they are known as ketones then we discuss one by one about first one we discuss glucose so first we discuss about glucose point 1 glucose what is glucose it is the most common monosaccharide which is also known as dextrose as it occur in nature as the optically active dextrorotary isomer and it is found in most of the sweet fruit that is grapes and honey are you again glucose is the most common monosaccharide which is also known as dextrose because it occur in nature as the optically active dextrorotary isomer and it is found in most of the sweet fruits that is grapes and honey it is prepared from the acidic hydrolysis of cane sugar the glucose is prepared by the acidic hydrolysis of cane sugar mark the equation c12 h22o11 plus h2o h2o H plus to form C six H twelve O six six is H twelve O six. It is known as glucose. It is known as fructose. That means it is glucose is prepared by the acidic hydrolysis of cane sugar. It is sucrose or cane sugar. Next two to three characteristic properties there. It is the first thing of glucose. then we switch over to the second point one that is fructose next one is second point is fructose what is fructose it is also it is also an important keto hexose it is also important keto hexose and is otherwise known as levulose L E B U L O S C. It is otherwise also known as levulose because the naturally occurring form of fructose is levorotatory. We know two terms. One is known as dextrorotatory. One is known as levorotatory. That means if the plane polarized light rotates the plane to anticlockwise, then it is known as levorotatory. It is found. along with glucose in juice of ripe fruits and honey it is obtained from cane sugar by warming with dilute sulfuric acid or with in the presence of enzyme that is in voltage mark the equation c12 h22 o11 plus h2 o either h plus or in presence of enzyme that is in voltage to form c6 h12o6 plus c6 h12o6 it is glucose it is fructose it is cane sugar it is about the fructose next we observe that it is all about that is glucose and fructose all about the monosaccharide next we we'll transfer to disaccharide mark that 
it is all about the monosaccharide glucose and fructose then we switch over to disaccharide that means we know that on acidic hydrolysis it gives two molecule of monosaccharide these are the carbohydrates which gives two monosaccharide on acidic hydrolysis that means for example if we go through sucrose on hydrolysis it is form glucose plus fructose for example sucrose on hydrolysis it is form glucose plus fructose if sucrose on acidic hydrolysis gives glucose plus fructose another one example is that if maltose on acidic hydrolysis second example maltose maltose on acidic hydrolysis gives two molecules of glucose another example is there that means if lactose on acidic hydrolysis for glucose plus galactose another example if we select lactose on acidic hydrolysis it gives glucose plus galactose these are some common examples disaccharide the product form on acidic hydrolysis then we discuss one by one first one is sucrose first we discuss about under the heading of disaccharide sucrose what is sucrose it is a ordinary table sugar obtained from cane sugar it is composed of alpha d glucose and beta d fructose it is composed of alpha d glucose and beta d fructose i repeat again it is composed of alpha d glucose and beta d fructose unit joined by alpha beta glycosidic linkage joined by joined by alpha beta glycosidic linkage joined by glycosidic linkage between carbon 1 of glucose unit and carbon 2 of fructose unit by carbon 1 of glucose unit and carbon 2 of fructose unit I repeat again what is sucrose if there is the alpha beta glucose and beta d fructose joined by alpha beta glycosidic linkage by carbon 1 of the glucose unit and carbon 2 of the fructose unit then we switch over to its characteristics characteristics of sucrose one or two point is there it is characteristics of sucrose characteristics we we'll discuss one by one under the heading of characteristics point one it does not reduce tolerance region and filling solution it does not it does not reduces tolens reagent and filling solution point two it also does not exhibit a muta rotation it also it also not respond to muta rotation this is the common characteristics of sucrose next we discuss the point 2 that is maltose next we discuss about second under second that is maltose what is maltose it is obtained from starch being composed of two alpha d glucose unit joined by glycosidic linkage i repeat again it is obtained from starch being composed of two 
alpha d glucose unit composed by two alpha d glucose unit joined by al two alpha d glucose unit joined by glycosidic linkage between joined by glycosidic linkage by joined by glycosidic linkage between carbon one of one unit carbon one of one unit and carbon four of other unit linkage between carbon one of one unit and carbon four of other unit i repeat again it is nothing but the linkage between two alpha d glucose unit joined by glycosidic joined by glycosidic linkage between carbon one of one unit and carbon four of other unit then we discuss about its characteristics two point characteristics point one the first point is there uh, that means it reduces tolerance reagent and boiling solution point one it reduces tolerance reagent and boiling solution point two it is shows muta rotation These are the two common characteristics of maltose. Next, we move to third one. That is lactose. Then we discuss about lactose. What is lactose? It is found in milk of all the animals, and hence. Commonly known as milk sugar, it is also commonly known as milk sugar. It is composed of beta d galactose unit. It is composed of beta d galactose unit and alpha d glucose unit joined by beta d glycosidic linkage between carbon one of galactose and carbon four of glucose unit. I repeat again, lactose. It is found in milk of all the animals and hence. Commonly, it is known as milk sugar. It is composed of beta d galactose unit and alpha d glucose unit joined by beta d glycosidic linkage between carbon one of galactose and carbon four of glucose unit. It is also for the same characteristics. That means characteristics under the heading of characteristics. It reduces tolerance reagent and filling solution. It exhibits. It shows muta rotation. This is also common characteristics of lactose. Then we we'll discuss about. polysaccharide next we we'll discuss about polysaccharide next is polysaccharides next we we'll discuss polysaccharide that means that is the carbohydrate which on hydrolysis gives large number of monosaccharide Common examples are starch, cellulose, glycogen. We discuss one by one. First one is starch. What is the starch? It is the main contributor of carbohydrate in our diet. It exists exclusively in plant, stored in seeds, root, and fibers. as food reserve it is the chief sources 
the chief sources of the starch are potato corn rice etc it is a polymer of alpha glucose and consists of two component one is amylose one is amylose and another is amylopectin amylopectin it is the two component of starch next we discuss about cellulose second one is cellulose what is this cellulose it is the main source of material main structural material of a tree and other plant wood contain about 50% cellulose other sources are straw corn cobs and other agricultural waste it is a straight chain polysaccharide composed of d glucose unit being joined by beta glycosidic linkage between carbon 1 of glucose unit and carbon 4 of next glucose unit i repeat again it is a straight chain polysaccharide composed of d glucose unit being joined by beta glycosidic linkage between carbon 1 of glucose unit and carbon 4 of the next glucose unit so next last heading is glycogen third heading is glycogen what is glycogen it is the present in the liver muscles and is known as reserve carbohydrate of animal starch when energy that is glucose is needed for any work by the body glycogen is broken down to glucose by enzyme the structure of glycogen is similar to that of amylopectin but it is much more branch than amylopectin the most important i repeat again the structure of glucose the structure of glycogen is similar to that of amylopectin but it is much more branch than that of amylopectin it is little bit idea about the carbohydrates and its classification.